Hi, this is Federico with Cuddle, and in this video, we're going to be making a laser cut box with a built in lid. If you haven't made a laser cut box before, I would suggest you start with a basic one. And we made a video for that. The link is going to be in the description. I like this one because the lid is so well integrated with the box and it's very easy to put it together. So I'm going to show you how to measure the material thickness so we can get a good fit on the parts and a good action on the lid. And then I'm going to show you how to change all the different values on the template. The template was made using Codal.xyz, which is a free web-based design tool for laser cutting. Then I'm going to show you how I cut the parts on my Glowforge and how to assemble the box. So let's get started. I have some light maple plywood for this project and it comes with some protective film that I need to remove before measuring on both sides. And starting with my calipers on zero, I like to measure it on several spots and then choose a reasonable average. This sample is pretty even and it's all around 0.118 inches. So I'm going to go with that for my material thickness. You can find the link to this project in the video description, or you can also go to codal.xyz slash templates. Here you'll find these and other interesting projects. Uh, there is also going to be a link in the top left corner. So we'll scroll down to find the box with hinged lid and we'll click on that one to get started. And here on the project page, I'm going to scroll down so I can see all the different parameters or options that I can customize. Changing the values of this template can be done in a couple of ways. If you want to use the mouse, you can click on any value and then scrub right to increase the value and left to decrease it. You can also click on the number and then type the number that you want. I'm going to go for 3.7 inches and then I can press enter when I'm done. I want to go for the size of roughly a mint tin for this project. So I'm going to use a depth of 2.4 inches and a height of one inch. Additionally, you can use different units. If you click on this box, you can change them um, to the unit that you're more comfortable working with. And then for the material thickness that we measured in the previous step, I'm going to enter 1.118 inches. I'm going to leave the curve compensation to the default value, but I want to change the tab width because I see here that the bottom has a single tab on this side. So I'm going to make the tab smaller until I see that I get two, at least two tabs. So I'm going to go with 0.4 inches. And then the final parameter here would be the finger hole width. So often with these projects, you'll find a, a pretty good description of what the parameter does. In this case, it says it's the width of the finger hole that helps you open the lid. But I like to get a visual confirmation, so I just start messing with the numbers. So I'm going to change it here to see what the preview shows me. So as you can see, what's changing is the size of that little chunk on the lid that helps you uh, pull it up. And additionally, the notch in the front of the box where that goes is also changing. So I know what that does just by moving it around. I'm just going to return it to the default. The next parameter is this finger hold overhang, and that is how much the finger hold protrudes past the front face of the box. I can get a visual confirmation of how that works. And in practice, I found that you really need very little, like your finger will catch on the smallest thing. So I'm going to leave that one as the default. Now that I'm ready to download my files, I'm going to toggle the labels off with this check mark. And I'm going to download an SVG for my laser cutter. You can also download other formats if you click on the toggle. So I uploaded the design to the Glowforge interface and I wanted to note that there are two separate cut operations. We made those holes for the hinges black so they would be the first operations since they are an inside hole and then we made the outlines red so they, they would be the second operation. So let's see how this turns out. The front of the box has that notch for the finger hold. This is the bottom, the back, the sides and now the lid. I'm going to start by peeling off the masking tape before I assemble it. I'm going to flip it to peel the other side. And I'm going to start by pressing the front of the box to the base. I got a nice fit and the parts snap together. Optionally, you could also use a mallet to tap them in place. Next, I'm going to do the back of the box to the base. And next, I'm going to do one of the sides. I'll start with the left side. 
it also clicks in place. And before we do the opposite side, we need to insert the lid. And it's nice that it stays in place with that finger hold on the notch. And at this point, we make sure that the pin goes into the hole before we press that side. So I think this is my new favorite laser cut box. I like the simplicity of the mechanism. I like how the lid ends up embedded in the body of the box. And if you make it out of plywood, it seems like those bits that make up the axis for the hinge can take a fair amount of abuse. So I hope you like it too. And if you found this video useful, you can help the channel by clicking like and subscribe. And please leave any questions and tips for other makers in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.